Of all the currently available game systems out there, the 3DS has to be a favorite of mine. It has an incredible library of games, a mix of both good remakes and original titles, it has the ability to play the games of the Nintendo DS, and let's not forget all those sweet, sweet Nintendo first party games, and this is one of those. Now, not that long ago, I took a look at Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds, and after doing that video, I wanted to do another 3DS game. And since that was a Zelda game, why not do a Mario game? It's been quite a while since I've done a proper Mario game. So here I am presenting to you Super Mario 3D Land. Mario 3D Land was released shortly after the introduction of the 3DS and was the first Mario title to appear on the handheld. It was advertised as a classic style Mario game with a modern twist. More accurately, it's a 3D Mario game which draws a lot of inspiration from the classic titles. Much of the platform action here is pretty straightforward, just it's in 3D. It all sounds pretty basic, but the 3D elements really change things up, and it's a lot more than just a straight line to the end. Naturally, there's a bit more depth when you have a 3D platformer, but compared to something like Mario 64 or even the Mario Galaxy games, this is still a lot simpler and a lot more accessible, even for the most casual of gamer, which is a great approach for a handheld like the 3DS. There's not all that much story here to tell you about, just another case of Bowser kidnapping Princess Peach. I'm sure that's not a surprise. You do get some pictures of how Peach is doing as you progress in the game, which is kind of neat. It almost reminds me of the letters from Super Mario 3. And then speaking of Mario 3, this game marked the return of the Super Leaf. In this game, it transforms Mario into Tanuki Mario. You can hover with the tail and do the spinning tail attack just like before, but no turning to stone or flying. There's also the Boomerang Flower, which gives Mario the Boomerang Brothers suit, which is cool. Not unlike the Hammer Brothers suit from Mario 3, but I still prefer the Tanuki. Before I get to the good stuff about the presentation and the gameplay, I need to talk about my biggest gripe with the game, and that is the fixed perspective of the camera. This game is in 3D, but keeping with so many 2D sensibilities, there's no way to change the camera angle, which in all honesty would make the game so much easier. I would say the bulk of the lives I've lost in this game from my multiple playthroughs were from misjudged jumps because I had a little trouble judging the depth or distance due to the camera angle. It can be kind of frustrating to say the least. Thankfully, the game is ridiculously generous with the amount of extra lives given. Also, if you lose so many lives in a stage, you get the option to pick up a white tanuki suit rendering you invincible for the duration of the stage. It's a fairly nice touch, especially since it's a completely optional pickup. If I was to judge my favorite 3DS games based on visuals, this one would be a bit below Link Between Worlds, but I still love the look of this game. Even with some of the polygons not being quite so smooth, but keep in mind this was a pretty early release on the 3DS. There's a lot to the game that reminds you so much of the classic Mario games keeping in tune with those 2D sensibilities, and I think it makes the game that much more enjoyable. I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned this before, but I was not a fan of Charles Martinet's Mario voice for a very long time, but I think this and the new Super Mario Bros. games finally sold me on it. The callbacks to Mario 3 and Super Mario World and some of the music here is really, really, really enjoyable to me. If I was to sum it up all in the one sentence, simply put, it's a Mario game, you know what to expect, but that's not a bad thing, not at all. And if I had to choose between this and New Super Mario Bros. 2 as the definitive 3DS Mario, I would have to pick this one over the New Super Mario Bros. 2. They're both very good, and if you can't look past that fixed camera angle that this game has, you might prefer New Super Mario 2, but for me, this is the one that I would pick. Heck, I might even like this one a little bit more than New Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. Now, let me throw it to you. What is your favorite of the 3D Mario games? Leave a comment down below. Hope you've enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.